last year when GoPro announced the Hero 5 Black, I did a comparison between that and the Hero 4 Black. This year GoPro announced the Hero 6 Black, and I've been using it since it was announced. I've made several videos about that, so if you're interested in finding out more information about the Hero 6, you should definitely check those out. Today I'm going to compare the ISO performance between the Hero 5 Black and the new Hero 6 Black. And I'm going to be using the same setup that I used last year. Uh, it's a very low light situation, so we're pushing the cameras to the limits. Um, I can't imagine using the camera in any situation darker than this realistically. Starting off with ISO 400, to me they look just about the same, and that's really going to be the case uh, for anything ISO 400 and below. Not very much noise, but you will see a little tiny bit, but overall not much of a difference. Moving on to ISO 800, again, maybe some subtle differences here. I can start to see a little bit of a blue tint coming from the Hero 6 footage. Um, I wouldn't call either of these unusable, but you can certainly see a little more noise from both, although I don't really see much of a difference here. The Hero 6 might have an edge again, but it's a small one at that. Moving on to ISO 1600, you can really start to see the noise coming in here now, and that blue tint from the Hero 6 is really starting to show. Now I thought that the Hero 6 may have had a small edge in ISO performance at 400 and 800, but here I actually think that the Hero 5 is a bit better. I'm not seeing any less grain, but I just don't like that tint that's really starting to come out of the Hero 6. Now at ISO 3200, I would consider this footage basically unusable for anything but the most extreme circumstances. That's just how it is with any action camera in this type of situation. Honestly, nobody wins with picture quality this bad, but if I have to pick a winner, it's actually going to be the Hero 5 again. And if you're interested, here's ISO 6400. Um, it's completely laughable, completely useless, uh, but there it is if you care. So what are my final thoughts? And GoPro said that you would get better low light performance out of this. Now. Maybe they don't mean ISO performance. I'm not exactly sure what they would be referring to then. But as far as ISO performance, um, it doesn't seem that there's much of a difference at all. And like I said, it looks like in some situations, the Hero 5 does win. So if you're looking to upgrade your Hero 5 to the Hero 6, you may want to wait on that. Because I don't see any improvement here, at least in the high ISOs. And in the low ones, there really isn't that much noise anyway. So I'm not sure that it's worth the upgrade. If you're interested in some other aspects of the Hero 6, there are many ways that is better than the Hero 5. So definitely check out those videos. And thanks for watching.